Listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. 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 The rumor report. Gossip. gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, you know, the Grammys are on this Sunday, and Alicia Keys will be hosting, right? Well, she also has a new album on the way. It's just called Alicia, the album, and it's coming out March 20th. So she posted that on Instagram. She also has a world tour. That world tour is starting on June 5th in Dublin, Ireland, and it will be ending... Uh, at this point, September 22nd in Miami. So if you're a huge Alicia Keys fan, make sure you watch her at the Grammys mm -hmm. and then get ready for her new album, followed by the tour. Sasha Katie is somewhere doing backflips <laughs> right now. Salute to our homie Sasha Katie. Mm -hmm. She's an Alicia Keys fan, I know. Yeah, she was our old producer. She yeah, she loves Alicia, Alicia Keys. Keys Absolutely. Up. All right, Delante West. Now, this was hard to watch, but uh, former NBA player Delante West was in D.C. and apparently he had gotten into a fight. Now, the video footage we, we saw was of him him getting his head stomped on in the streets of D.C. And we didn't know the backstory at first. And then there was video footage of him being questioned. Why'd you hit him? Did he attack you first with the self-defense or did you hit him? Man, I walked down the street. The man approached me with an eye butt with a gun. You approached you, where's his gun at? I don't give a f Young champ. I'm the leader of the mother Goddamn Navy Seals. I'm what President Trump. I'm the real president. All right, now, mm -hmm. according to witnesses, they did say that Delante West was the person who did at first attack uh, the man that was beating him in the middle of the road with a glass bottle. Mm -hmm. So that was his response. Uh, he was beating him up, stomping on his head and all of that. A lot of people were on social media making jokes about it, but other NBA players and his former coach and other people are saying that this actually needs to be something that gets addressed. Um... Some people are saying they are, have reached out to his family to try to help and get him the professional help that he does need. He's been having a lot of issues. This isn't the first incident that we've seen of Delante West where it looks like something is not quite right with him. His former agent, Aaron Goodwin, did confirm that it was him. He said he's currently recovering from the attack with family members, but he desperately needs medical attention. He does have a support system around him, but his close friends and family members need more help to keep him safe and out of trouble. Yeah, this is the reason I'm so big on mental health and uh, getting people to invest in their mental wealth, because <clears> when <throat> things are not right in your mind, it doesn't matter who you are, what your background is, how much money you have, how much money you had. When you lose that brain... You lose it. And it can happen to anyone. I promise you, one of the reasons I started going to therapy and really practicing mindfulness is because I just did not want to go in a very bad place. Okay, I've watched it. I've seen people that were perfectly fine go nuts, and I, I did not want that to happen to me. And that brother, Delonte West, probably always had bipolar schizophrenia, but he's probably never gotten treatment for it, and that's why he's at the point he is now. I hope he gets the help he needs. Now, there's uh, a police officer who is suspected of leaking that video, so that's how everyone saw it, and that police officer has been suspended. What kind of whole-ass police officer are you to leak a video? Aren't you, aren't you supposed to be intervening and helping a situation? You're supposed to be. Like, what, what are you, who are you leaking a video to? Did he get paid for that? Well, it showed him being questioned while shirtless and handcuffed. That's the video, one of the two videos that was circulating. You can't be a, a, a police officer worrying about your likes on the gram. Oh, your All right. likes on Facebook. Ozzy Osbourne has revealed that he does have Parkinson's disease. He's been diagnosed. And he did an interview with Good Morning America with Robin Roberts alongside his wife slash manager, Sharon Osbourne. And here's what he said. I did my last show, New Year's Eve, and I had a bad fall. I had to have surgery on my neck, which screwed all my nerves in. And I found out that I have a... It's Parkin 2 which is a form of Parkinson's. It's not a death sentence by any stretch of the imagination, mm -hmm. but it does affect certain nerves in your body. And it's, it's like you have a good day, a good day, and then a really bad day. He was know. actually diagnosed last February. Mm -hmm. oh, I thought he was diagnosed years ago. Yeah, no, his illness was made public just yesterday, but he was diagnosed last February, and he just said he was running out of excuses for why he couldn't do certain things. So he didn't want to have to hide that from people anymore. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. All right, thank you, Miss Yee. Now, we got front page news coming up. What are we talking about? Yes, let's talk about the Grammy CEO. You know, the Grammys uh, is coming up. And she was just placed on administrative leave less than a week ago. Well, now she is filing a complaint against the organization, and we'll tell you why. All right, we'll get into that next. Keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.